So in the past, I've enjoyed talking about next-gen technology in the years to come, like digitized clothing and mysterious virtual reality. But what about the next-gen just right around the corner? Like the next-gen Snapdragon. So Qualcomm has issued developers a reference smartphone and tablet that demonstrates the capability of their new Snapdragon 810. The Snapdragon 810 developer smartphone is a 6.2 inch behemoth, packing a 2560 x 1600 display. It also comes with four gigabytes of RAM, 3020 milliamp hour battery, a 13 megapixel dual flash rear camera, and a four megapixel front facing camera capable of 1080p 120 frames per second recording. It also has a fingerprint scanner on the back. The handset also features a huge array of sensors, eight megaphones, a micro HDMI slot that supports 4K displays, an ultra sound emitter. It has plenty of toys for developers to play around with. Now Qualcomm's reference tablet is also nothing to sneeze at. It features a 10.1 inch UHD 4K display that has a whopping 3840 times 2160 169 aspect display. It has four gigabytes of RAM, the same camera setup as the smartphone and a decent sized 7560 milliamp hour battery. The tablet also features a similar range of sensors but also comes with dual 3D IR gesture cameras and front-facing stereo speakers. Now, before you get all hot and bothered, we need to remind you that those are reference devices for developers. Uh, they're not for users just yet. They allow developers to create applications to see what that great Snapdragon 810 is capable of. Now, for those of you who are big fans of the LG G Flex, its successor is expected to launch this January 2015 at CES. Details about the new device are scarce for the moment, but according to persons close to the matter, the G Flex 2 will be a major upgrade over its predecessor. The device is said to feature a high resolution plastic based OLED screen, full HD most likely, in a smaller form factor. The self healing coating will make a return on the LG G Flex 2 in an improved form. So do you guys think this is actually a gimmick or a somewhat flexible display is actually a useful feature? I know for people like me who prefer one-handed devices, some people have said that because the device curves a little bit, it's easier to do one-handed device on a larger screen. What do you guys think? Now, Sony has always been known for its well-designed, sleek looking devices, but apparently now they're coming out with a smartwatch that uses e-ink. A spokesperson from Sony confirmed that the company is working on a project named Fashion Entertainments, which is researching potential electronic paper or e-ink application for fashion products. The FES watch is the group's major prototype at the moment, which uses electronic paper to change the entire watch design based on input gestures. Currently, the watch comes with 24 different user selectable patterns, but the project was kept under wraps and pushed through crowdfunding to gauge initial interest without attaching the Sony brand name. The FES watch passed its fundraising goal of 2 million yen or $17,000 US in just three weeks and has already secured 3.5 million yen. Now, Sony claims they see applications for e-ink not just on watches but on all of our clothing, further deepening and making far more interesting the wearable race. Now, Samsung knows one thing. If you really want to commit to something, you want to make a connection work, what do you got to do? You got to put a ring on it. A new patent application has appeared this week, potentially giving us a glimpse of what might end up being one of Samsung's new upcoming smartwatches. What makes this particular patent so interesting is that it shows a round watch operated by a ring around the face. Now to be clear, the innovation in the patent is displaying a daily agenda on a circular interface divided into slices. Rotating the ring is just one of the proposed ways to edit entries from that agenda. All right guys, my name is Jace, thank you for watching. And you know what, you can check right there our thank you to you for reaching one million subs. It just happened earlier this morning when I was uh, shooting this. Thank you so much. Uh, Josh did a great job at editing this thing. It's really, really tough. But up here, you can watch other Android Authority shows. I shall see you next week on Android Weekly.